Hi folks, Tim here again from High End Cheap Deck. Welcome back, and I'm going to lock the exposure, which I failed to do before I started. Kind of dumb, but it just, what that does is allow me, no matter how I move or if I turn my head, we don't get light and dark and light and dark. It just stays locked. Open camera. Fantastic app. Try it. Um, so... We're going to talk about a few things tonight. It'll be kind of random, and I'll try to keep it short, but it won't be as usual. I'll definitely cut it off at 10 minutes or so. Let's get to the intro and the short YouTube buddy ad that you know damn well is going to show up. Let's do Hi folks, well, so since I'm going to shoot this in small segments, um, I decided to come right back and talk. So, what is my main focus right now? Yes, the Mi 2 did get Android 10. Very cool. I still don't know how to get that. Using the navigation buttons... How to get the uh, home button, if you hold it down, to switch right over to Assistant. <sighs> and I'm a little suspicious because when I transfer files over using Android 10, I use files. And my movies had moved over one notch. And here's this MIUI folder. It was never there before. Believe me, folks, I keep track of this stuff. I watch. Now, if this is supposed to be pure Google, and that's something Xiaomi stuck on there, they need to put out an update and remove that son of a bitch. Now, if it is part of the gesture controls, that's kind of weird. Google has chosen MIUI for their gesture controls. But it wouldn't be the first time. They've done you know, something strange. So, uh, I really want to get a hold of the uh, Mi A3. I got a lot of good response on the Mi A2 as far as the, uh, you know, the update and, you know, my follow-ups. And I like that, but, you know... I, you can only milk that so far. There won't be any speed tests and this test and that test. Uh, I want the Mi A3. It's Android 1. And sure, I get the Redmi Note 8. But it's bigger. I don't like bigger. As we all know, I like the Thinky S. G3 with its 720 display because it fits and I can reach almost all the way across the screen. Oh, look, I can and still have a grip on it with a case. And on that note, we're going to have to go to that uh, YouTube ad or TubeBuddy ad. Sorry. Hi, folks. Tim here just cutting in. Quick message about TubeBuddy.com. As you will see coming up on the screen right now, TubeBuddy is the premier tool for helping you edit and maintain your presence as a creator on YouTube. It integrates flawlessly. If you have a free version, uh, it goes right into your browser and you use it as you're you know, doing your editing and, uh, and uploading. And it, it's an excellent tool uh, as far as prices go. The price is coming up on the screen. Um, if you get the free version, a lot of times they'll offer you, uh, they'll make you an offer. They made me an offer, and I'm only paying $4.50 a month. So check it out at the link that you're going to see on the screen and at the link below, uh, www.tubebuddy.com forward slash high end cheap tech. And now let's get back to that video we were doing. 
So why do I think the Mi A3 is worth going to? It's only 720 display. Ah, yes, Padawan. But it does have one thing going for it. It's an Android one, so it's going... If it doesn't come with it directly, it's going to have it shortly. Very shortly. Like that shortly. It should come with it right away, but we don't know that for sure. On the other hand, the cool part is it has a 48 megapixel camera. It has a wide angle lens shooter and uh, it doesn't have the macro shooter. That's the only thing it's missing that the uh, Redmi Note 8 has. Snapdragon 665, which I've already pointed out is a bit slower than the Snapdragon 660 in Antutu. Other than that, eh, it's pretty much a coin flip between the two on uh, benchmarks. You know, Geekbench 4 and all that. So, it's an incremental processor update. Unnoticeable, and since I don't play any games, I mean, I'll do a gaming thing on it. And for the games I play, it'll be perfectly adequate. And uh, I also have promised a friend of mine who I watch his channel. He sent me that P20 knockoff phone ages ago. I unboxed it. It's got like... 7,200 hits or some ridiculous number of views. Never had those kind of views before. I mean, I know it's long term. But he did do that. So I told him if and when I get the Mi A3, I, after I'm sure I can you know, deal with it. Yeah, the notch doesn't bother me as much as it did when I first saw it. The fact that it has an in-screen fingerprint reader, I'll learn to deal with that. Uh, now, I still think those are a gimmick. The one on the back is very cool. Uh, only because you can leave it laying down when you pick it up. You hit it. You don't care how fast it is because by the time you pick it up, turn it. And of course, you're not going to have face unlock on any of these Android One phones because they're pure Google. And except for the Pixel 4 and the Android or the iPhone, you know, with the, the huge notch. They have infrared scanning, and it's 3D. It's actually secure. Well, the others, you can hold the picture up and go, hey, it's me. So, it's insecure, so Google doesn't put it on there. So, I want to be able to send this guy, uh, you know, a little payback. And the Mi 2 I think, would be great for him. He can review it, talk about Android 10, see if he likes it, dislikes it, and and try out a, a pretty good phone. Now, of course, the Mi 3 has a headphone jack. That is slick. That is so slick, it's ridiculous. Because I should be able to not have to use the dongle and use the actual plug from my, well, you're not going to be able to see it, from my uh, headset here, or a lavalier mic or whatever. And I have adapters to go from, you know, the three, four barrel down to the three barrel, just so you get the mic, you know, stereo channels. Uh, 
I'll probably still have to use open camera uh, for some reason. Nobody wants to put in external mics into their, you know, camera app. If they did, the regular camera app is actually clearer and sharper on the Mi A2 and most other phones than open camera. It is. Uh, yeah, about 5%. Uh, and I also want to get the DGI Osmo and test that because once you get one of those, you won't care that your phone doesn't have EIS in this. Oh, you can't shoot it anything more than 30 frames a second in 1080p. You have 60, but there's no EIS. Won't matter. Got the DGI Osmo going for you. You don't need any EIS. I've watched enough videos on it. It's so rock solid, it's ridiculous. It totally replaces OIS, EIS, all that crap. So, a good gimbal in hand is worth a bazillion dollars. And uh, so where we're going with this, you need to read the links in the description below. Uh, you need to subscribe, of course. And um, right under all those links, and all those links usually go to Amazon, and I get a kickback. I freely admit it. You, you know, what, I'm not just buying this stuff out of the goodness of my heart. Hell, I hardly buy anything, most stuff. I, yeah, I've had a lot of microphones sent to me. I've had these head, this headset sent to me. It's like, hey, keep it, do a review. And I was like, well, as long as you understand, if it sucks, it sucks. And it, it doesn't suck. It's got the best microphone of anything I own. Uh, so, bottom line, donations are cool. As a matter of fact, if everyone who was a subscriber, yeah, we got like three ninety-seven, uh, would share the video. If everyone who is a subscriber would send a said two dollars, you know, via the PayPal me link, oh, all of a sudden. We'd have enough to buy a whole bunch of stuff. Some phones. Pay the rent that's overdue. Um, actually go out and get a decent meal. You know, that kind of stuff. But in the meantime, we'll keep plugging on here. Make sure if you like the video, like and subscribe. Make sure you uh, consider... The Mi A3 is a viable phone for your next purchase. I'd wait till I get a hold of one and do a review. But please don't listen to these guys that go, oh, you got to have this Samsung this and this Samsung F Samsung. Yeah, it's got a skin over the top and it'll take them months to update get an Android one at least be within a couple of weeks on security updates and a few months at least uh, on the uh, uh, system updates although I would hope with the re original release date on the Mi A3 that it would instantly you know if they've been boxed up before that they're not going to have it uh, just make sure the first thing you do is check for updates on Wi-Fi. And if it has the Android 10, install it. I highly recommend it. I think it's great. Um, if you like gesture controls, you'll be right at home. That's all we got for tonight. So 
y'all uh, have a great night. We'll catch you in the next one tomorrow.